Oh wow. Have I not been playing with audio the past few days? Seems that way. Uh, well, it depends, I guess. If I have the desktop audio on, it should have audio, but... Uh, oh god, don't tell me I've been playing without audio. For the past few days, that is so embarrassing. Okay. Uh I'm going to go with what I did for like uh Resident Evil 2. Going to adjust the lighting brightness a little bit and hopefully it's doesn't look too bad. Up. So, if you don't know, uh, if you're so like the demo is not coming out on PS4 in the US until tomorrow around this time, I think. Uh, which is why I just went to the Malaysian PSN store and just downloaded it because uh, I said I was gonna do Resident Evil 4, uh, Resident Evil 3 today, and I'm gonna do Resident Evil 3 today. I'm just a little bit surprised that it didn't show like. Biohazard tree or something like that on the screen. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. Oh, it's time you actually we see the survivors. I think previously, uh, you don't actually see them. Because at this point, they will be like gone. All right. I'm in. That's just the umbrella, the UBCS team, and. Uh... Oh hey, it's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, Super Cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. First things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Ammo crafting. Okay. Oh, that was in. Uh... Oh, they they kind of changed the UI a little bit. See those top films. April 3rd, 2020. I just noticed that. <laughs> nice. Nice. Zombie apocalypse film. April 3rd, 2020. Really like that atmosphere. Because, um... Uh, well, 2 was alright. I mean... It's, it's more than alright, actually. I, I really like 2. But the problem with 2 is that... You kind of felt like you had to rush through a lot of things. Like it was literally like. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might gain the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Uh, in the sense that uh, 
yeah, because I, I don't know if it was by design or what, but it felt very. Ooh, that's a lot of green ups everywhere. Menu's a bit slow though. Oh, because you have to go through the initial tutorial phase. But yeah, I, I kind of felt like 2 required you to like rush through the game, for better or for worse. Oh, the clock tower puzzle is here. Are we going to actually use it? Gem boxer. Bubble heads. Wonder if that does anything for the main game. That was weird. More survivors. We've gotta get that train moving. That's a classic uh, zombie look. Yeah. Because I think it's by design, I guess, you know, to look at the open world and you're like thinking, yeah, I think I might want to like slow down a little bit and like kind of absorb what's going on versus uh, what you see, what you see in like Resident Evil 2, which is like, whoa. You, you're trying to escape kind of thing this at least this feels at least like oh I need to hang back save some people explore a little bit okay that's that's a bit messy I feel subsystems are gone knife is a permanent item I guess oh yes. Man, what would what what wouldn't I give to have like revelations or something like that? Because it, this is basically it, you know, uh, revelations, the the control systems and everything. This is basically it. Guess I can shoot that. You have the dodge move and all that. Kind of makes you wish that. Carlos, I yeah, reached the main avenue. I just have better graphics. You see a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Uh. Maybe a bit too dark. I'll put it out there. Let's lower it by one, two. Yeah, maybe a bit too dark because like the corners, I can't see a thing. And if I can't see a thing, you might not be able to see a thing on the stream. Gotta put this out. What am I supposed to do? Doesn't really say. Automatic door pushing still thing. <sighs> Shoot the red barrels, I guess. No automatic aiming this time around. Bone wolf cigarettes. Yeah, I wonder if they're, they'll be as tough as, like in the full game, will it be as tough as uh, RE2's? Because I thought RE2 was also quite a bit difficult to take out zombies. Let's go up here first and see if there's anything around. These things, I guess I can break them actually. 
Yeah, there you go. Because I see a lot of them around and I don't think that they are... Like... Oh, this? I don't think... They are anything important, so... Just double checking. Whoa, I didn't see her there. Shortcut? Dark Souls, man. Ooh, ooh. Uh, this is probably one thing that I don't like at the moment, which is... Uh, it didn't happen as much in 2 because I think uh, they were a bit more deliberate. But for this, it feels like... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, it's very sensitive towards uh, comment, like the prompts stuff. Like moving through to the next location and stuff like that. It feels very sensitive. Okay, I don't know the code. Aqua Cure Queen. Gunpowder. I guess that minimizes damage. Okay. They are just as tough to kill. If not tougher. Oh. Uh, the side? Aqua Cure. Come through doors. There you go. Nice. Nice shot, Jill. Okay, let's move on first. No idea what's around. So I get. Oh, uh, I still get bitten. Operation. Here you are. Nine left, nine right, one eight. Okay, so nine one eight. Yep, yes, they still are a bit difficult to kill, which is good. I think one of the things that newer Resident Evil games, because you can always upgrade your weapons, they become like zombies become very, uh, or just say like not worth it anymore. I guess I don't know. Let's get handgun bullets first because I'm running out. So nine one eight, right? Yeah, it's quite literally, it's, I'm not gonna say, I, I don't know fully yet, but it's a really good balance between, like, if we're gonna go from 2, 3, and then 4, if you get what I mean. Like, 4 is gonna come out soon. Uh, 4 goes to the all 3D, like, action game with a knife and all that. And you're breaking boxes left and right. So to me, it's like this is like, I guess one of their tenets for the game is to bridge the gap between like RE2 and then this one. So, nine, one, eight. Shotgun, please. Oh no. Scope. Oh, red dot. Ah. Okay. I was a bit curious as well that uh, at sight. Yeah. Because I was like just now trying to aim and then 
was curious as to like why it was a bit uh like all around okay so it's an upgrade okay train tracks above I mean, there's light here, so I'm curious. Okay, get in. I'm guessing because of this, uh, you don't really have to aim around a lot. Ooh. I think it took up quite a bit of space. Cut the chain. Something for me to cut the chain with. Uh, okay. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of inventory slots at the end of the day. Oh, okay. I don't have. Uh, there's a shotgun, but I don't have chain cutter, I guess. This must be the subway company's offices. I guess I gotta come back here when there's power, so right now I gotta go back to where the fire was and uh, read out if I come back here. I wonder if we can go through at the donut area. Let's just let's just build that. There's no reason for me to hoard all the bullets anyways. So I need a chain cutter. Anything behind the counter? Oh, there it is, bolt cutter. Uh, I guess I can use one first. Hey, who doesn't want a shotgun, man, right? Oh, I should just use this instead. I forgot that you could dodge. Okay, don't really have to deal with him anymore. Yeah, I forgot you could dodge actually. Let's see if we can pick up the shotgun right now. He's right there. I like that design, which is like, do you want to take the safe route? There's a reward for going through the safe route as well. You know, or do you want to risk it and uh, you know, go through the less safe route? Let's throw this out. Because I could have just gone... That spooked me a little. I think you could have just gone through... I heard something open.
It seems like it's about to rain, actually. I might have to cut this short if it does rain. Ah, uh, yeah, reason being is I need to get. Ooh. Wait, I dodged that. What the hell? Oh, hey, Nemesis. Which way are you going? What is that? That's so annoying. But at least she has combat roll. Like some of these guys are infested. I wonder if that's it though. I wonder if this is gonna be that the demo actually. Yeah, like she has the time to put it out <laughs> while the nemesis is chasing her. There you go. That's gonna be another demo. Boom, finish. I knew it. I knew it. Should have just used a shotgun once or twice before that happened. Yeah, it's about 15 minutes. Okay. I like that, actually. Uh, I like uh, what they've done. And some of the changes that they've done. So many. Brad. Oh, yeah, that's Brad. Oh my god. No, no, no! They gotta get through! What is that? Somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. What was that? Don't move! Kendo, you're all right. You all all right to stretch. Stop and do what? I got your back. Go. Go! Walk sticky. You better hunt. Sorry. Look out! Let's do this. Spoilers for a lot of things. Sorry about that. <laughs> Go to the product page. No. Yeah, I could have run. A much more difficult mode or something like that. I don't think I can do anything. All right, one more time, one more time, and then we're gonna cut this stream short today. Yeah, just got some stuff to do. Surprising, uh, considering that we're supposed to be on lockdown and still got kind of ton of stuff to do as well. Right. I, I want to try and see if I can go straight through the donut area. Uh, I don't need some of these stuff up. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Yeah, so some of these things, now that I know that I can actually destroy... <laughs> Might as well pick them up and see what it, what's inside. Uh, aiming feels a bit weird though. It's a bit slow. Sensitivity might be a bit too low, I guess. I have to adjust that. More survivors. We've gotta get that train moving. Okay, stop shooting. I'm a bit curious uh, whether or not 
to actually uh, kill well, kill or harm them assist enough that he runs away. I wonder if that's even possible. But the moves that the nemesis has, I feel are very annoying though. Like the, the whip, like it's his whip grab or whatever it's called. And that feels super annoying to deal with. I guess that's why you have a dodge, I suppose. I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? Gotta pick this out. Yeah, this time I'm going through Moonstone Nuts. Escape. Yep. Because once you know it, you get a boat cutter here immediately, so... Kind of like, short-circuiting sequence breaking it a little bit and obviously what I think once you know the puzzles the solutions you can just uh, back just head back straight to where I need to go to get up oh wow Guy's hair just fall off. I'm gonna assume a kid. Yeah, being a little bit, uh, I guess you would call it reckless. Oh, she just climbs up all the way up. And most likely, Jill will be in red at this point. Wow, they are aggressive. Lady! <laughs> like, too cautious again. The scope definitely does help. I think it doesn't, but it definitely does help. Uh, let's throw this out. I don't think they're gonna force me to discard it so quickly. Right. Yeah. It's around a little bit. Let's just try out a shotgun. I didn't really manage to use it just now, so thinking about This must be the subway company's offices. Bobblehead here. I thought I saw a glimpse of one. I guess not. Mm. 
There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Got, hence it was a full damage. No, I think they're gonna keep it the same. Here. <laughs> yeah, playing a, just playing a bit recklessly today. Oh, she just spawned up immediately. Are there two of them? Yes, there was two. Yeah, she's supposed to be there. Oh, uh, what happened? Someone's on the other side of the door. Yeah, that's why. So I can't go in from this direction, it seems. Okay. Weird that that happens. Oh, the spread is quite a, quite a big spread. Are you serious? I can't get through here because of the guy blocking the other door. Because I don't think it was locked when I came from the other side. Probably just uh, the zombie being at the door. I can't open. Okay, so that means no. Nope. So that means no matter what, I have to face Nemesis from this direction. Yeah, the safe. I can't even exit the door. Oh, you had to save first. So I guess that was a scripting, scripting thing. Oh, nice. I nearly forgot something. Yeah, because they wanted me. I guess they wanted me to go through here. It's fast. I wonder if you just open this while he just stays outside. Wrong way. Did not expect that really. It's like, oh, I'm dead. Ah, okay. It starts me here. Yeah, that that will be kind of frustrated, frustrating if that's what they do. It's it's an open kind of open world ish, but if they're gonna like limit you where you can go based on. Uh, scripting stuff. That's, that's that's a bit unfortunate, I think. Let's see what I can do with this guy. Oh, he protects it. Nice. And the screen goes slightly. Ooh. Five hits, three or four hits, and I'm dead. No, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Can you actually defeat him at this point? We, we've already seen, seen like the the end. So I might as well uh, see if it's possible for me to actually defeat him. Wow. What does that do? 
time I remember to heal. Where did he go? Oh. Okay, I know that that is his weak spot. What does that actually do? I think. I think I dodged just a bit too early. As you gotta admit, you will be curious as well. Oh, wow, that's a two dodge. Thing. Uh, assisted game mode, health regenerate, and assault, assault rifle is, uh, okay. Uh, no. I, I'm still curious whether or not that is it. Like, if that's the most that you could do with him. Because obviously in the, in the old games, you could damage him enough that he will run away, and he will drop an item, item box. So I'm just, at this point, cur curiosity's sake, whether or not you can actually defeat him and I don't know, pick up an item. Man. It's kind of like a fighting game at this point. I'm trying to dodge and fight him at the same time. It was a bit difficult for me because I'm using. Uh, what is it called? First person shooter controller. I'm still trying to figure out if I can dodge that. It's so annoying. Because I'm worried that there's a certain point where you can no longer damage him. Yeah, I think you can only damage him at that. Yeah, there you go. Perfect dodge. I think she gets tired a little bit if you dodge too much. Oof. It's a nice effect. Uh, tiredness, I guess. I don't. I don't know what you would actually call it. Yeah, but I think she gets increasingly uh, exhausted doing this, and she's dead. <laughs> uh, now I really want to know if you can actually defeat him. I'm gonna read somewhere that you can't, so but yeah it's a risk it's a risk reward system to actually keep dodging because she does get much more and more tired as it goes on. Like you might dodge it, but at a certain point she just grows whoa. Uh help. Wow, that just sucks. Scoops a lot. Ah! Didn't manage to dodge in time. Oh, that. Ugh. 
dodging game fail today. Yeah, some as some guy is gonna be knifing him to death, and I'm like, I can't even dodge him properly. I'm dead. Okay, let me look it up. Let me look it up before I waste too much time here. And also, you know, kind of feel bad for Jill at this point. Uh, Reddit. Uh, okay, so um, I don't I don't know if I trust this guy. I don't know if I trust this guy, but he says that uh, Nemesis can't be killed. Killed, sorry. But I guess that's the closest thing. Okay. Not not a hundred percent uh conclusive. So okay. One more time. I think we're just gonna kneel him. I guess you can't really kill him, so we're gonna kneel him and then just run away. But yeah, there is, it does feel like there is a certain path you should take, which I'm kind of not a fan of, I guess. I yeah, that's annoying. Also, can't abuse the dodge too much. Man, the overhead. What was that wriggling around? There is a, from what I heard, there is an M4 weapon, so... There is something to get if you were to get into assisted mode. But yeah, don't don't think I need to show that off right now. Yeah, I kind of wish that was a quick skip button. Wow. And you're dead. <laughs> yeah, this this was uh, what what people have been saying that you can get stun locked and killed. So that's a bit frustrating. Cuz you basically get get caught by the enemy, either by him or by the enemy and then you can't move or do anything. 
So just keep taking damage. I mean, right now the problem is obviously I'm in caution, but. I'm just gonna run. Too bad it doesn't drop anything at the moment. What did he do? He just left, right? for the road okay so now that he left uh, because I was super close to the door does that cause all the other instances to oh no he's back yeah he, he spider-man's out of here okay so, so that's why he's kind of like, I'm going to get ready for the next part. All right. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's not uh, put Jill through too much. Let's just exit out. All right. So that's about it for me for today. Uh, short, uh, short stream today because I got to go out and fix some stuff. Uh, got to help people set up uh, internet. Uh, router basically borrowing them my router since uh, I'm not gonna be using it much so with that uh, yeah I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow maybe play this again I I don't know I haven't decided yet but uh, we shall see seven deaths so just want to thank you guys for watching uh, download the Resident Evil 3 demo I, I don't know resistance is not out yet so it's still too early can I skip this? So let's see, let's go to the product page and see what, what what's there. Uh, ignore my name if you can. 6-4 man. Classic costume pack. Yeah, I, I think they made some good changes. You know, it bridges the gap between 2 and 4 with like the knife being something breakable because I don't think you broke much of anything in, in uh, Resident Evil 2. So I think it's uh yeah, it, it it feels like a progression from two to three to four, and and instead of like a huge jump like from Code Veronica and stuff like that to to four, which is like through the game and dodging and stuff like that, much better than the and the previous one, which was completely uh, arbitrary, I think. But yeah, uh, apologies that I can't play too much more, uh, much more of this for today. So might be back in the afternoon. I don't know, probably not. So I'll see you guys. Bye bye.